And we're live for those of you watching after the stream. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, today we're just gonna be doing some some little testing, testing out some guns with uh, Mag of Holding, and uh, some other out of the normal attachments. I want to kind of see what these things can do. And uh, we're doing some Dark Aether runs so I can replenish some of these Mags of Holding and maybe get some better loot. So uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of setup here. So feel free to skip forward. Make sure we are live. Where is it? There it is. And, uh, we're doing oh, that's some... me. Whoa. What's up, Unskilled? What's up, Bikes? Golden? Cheese? Flynn? ZXMPLC? What's up, Joshua? Relaxed? Cheesy? What's up, guys? Hold on one second. Let me get all these settings good, and then we're gonna hop right in. Actually, let me open the lobby up. We're gonna be doing some open lobbies today. Let me change the game. I don't know why this don't default. Should probably look into that. Modern Warfare. Wow. Still only the only one that pops up. What's up, Mistru? Yeah, public games. We're doing some open lobbies. What's up, Ghoul? What's up, Eli? What's up, Cecil? Another cheese? What's up, Ethan? Alicio? What's up, Hated? Six? Walking? Hazel? What's going on, guys? Hold on, let me open up this lobby. And we'll get right into it. Um, That's how we do it. Set it to a max of three, because that's all we can play with anyways. And set it to open. And if you guys want to join, let me open up the group. Or show you guys the group. It's right here. I'm going to put it in chat. It's group. Did not hover over it. There we go. This is a J Buddies. Make sure I'm typing it right. My monitor's in such a weird spot. 2975475. Pretty sure that's right. The, oh, you talking about the AK-74? You, I might try it out. We're gonna be testing out a few guns today. But let me pin that. Two nine seven five four seven five. Okay, that's right. The J buddies. So first come first serve for these lobbies, and uh, we're gonna be swapping them out every game. But the first game, I want to test out the FR Advancer, and I'm gonna use this Fire Drake Underbarrel because some of the other underbarrels have been broken. So I want to see if this is pretty good. And I'm also going to try out the KV inhibitor. I'm going to use Maggle Holding for both of these, but I just want to see like what a semi-auto sniper would be like with Maggle Holding. Not having a reload could be decent. Oh wait, accidentally unequipped it. Oops. Let's re-equip those. And I need to self-revive on this character, on this strike team operator. All right, so we got Golden and Mizuru. And also, we should probably just work towards some XP for this event. Hold on, let me throw on a double XP. I, I guess I can throw it on in game. Don't matter. Let's start her up. Wait for you guys to be ready. Go back to Cold War. I played Cold War the last three years. What else can I do in that game that I haven't done already? I'm going to go back for uh, 420 for the how high of a round can we get stream. But that's it. What's up, Hells? Yeah, Z. We're, we're doing open lobbies. What's up, Logan? What's up, Nitro? What's up, Nose Hair? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, Eli. You see that frame one ready? I'm going to act like I wasn't just going to hit it when you weren't ready. <laughs> what a squad. Skeleton Val Val Valrea, Homelander, and a duck. That's what I'm talking about, dude. I need to get, like, all my operators decked out. I have one operator that's, like, got my exfil streak, my containment level up to, like, 200-something, and then the rest of my operators either have, like, a containment level of 50 or below in, like, no items, or they have items with no level. So I need to start building up these other operators. 
What up, Dally? Any attachments I recommend for the M80 on Cold War? I always did, like, the highest damaging barrel I could with, like, the largest mag. Um, I would throw on, like... Trying to get, like, attachments. To, I mean, I guess since it's an LMG, trying to make it more, like, um... Not ADS heavy, but like sprint to fire heavy. That way you're you putting yourself in a better position. But I, a lot of the time, the attachments don't matter too much. There's some that are better. Like the cavalry lancer barrel will be better for like higher rounds because you can break through like armored zombies easier. But the task force barrel does more damage against unarmored. So it's, it's up to you. I would just make a build with both so you can switch to the, the cavalry lancer on a higher round. There's so many good things from Vanguard that'll never come back because of the game's reception. I agree. There's like the operator levels were sweet. Like and being able to get skins for the operators. That was an awesome idea. And honestly, as much as I didn't like the zombies, the visual aesthetic of it looked really good. I really liked how the perk machines looked. It was just like they were very vibrant and bright in like a dark world. It was cool. What about the Fennec with a two tap mod? Maybe. I think I tried it a little bit when I was doing, uh... I used the Fennec to try out, uh... Like, the movement speed on it. I tried to make it, like, the fastest movement speed weapon. And I was actually, like, outrunning, uh... Hellhounds in Tier 3. So let's pack a punch these. Get them to Epic. Get this to Epic. Get a pack a punch. Activate this, this, and this. So, I'm thinking for each game, we're gonna, you know, mess around a little bit in Tier 3. Wait, how are you already done? What happened? We're gonna mess around a little bit until, like, everybody's good to go. And then we're going in the Dark Aether. And I'm thinking we're gonna do Elder Sigil runs once I get one, but for our first game, we won't have one. What happened, Mizaru? You timed out? Rip, dude. You just call me J Fart? Come on, bro. Kind of messed up, man. What's up, Cream? What's up, Squirtle? Alright, we can um honestly go straight to tier three. What do you got on you, Golden? You got some you got pack one on one of your guns. Other ones pack one too. Hold on, is OBS recording? It is. I don't know why, but whenever, like, this program I have for me to go in between both my computers, so I can use, like, one mouse and keyboard, it just starts recording once I, like, move over to the second computer. It's been going good, Mercury. Had a bit of a busy day, but now we're on. New recent updates have been messing with the game. Everyone's crashing. I... I haven't been playing a whole lot. I played a little bit last and I didn't crash, but the other day I crashed like twice. There was, actually no, I did crash yesterday. I hopped in the game just to get a thumbnail in zombies. I normally just do it on private match, but I wanted like the background here. And the whole server just shut down. Luckily I still kept my items because it was the server shutting down. But I was still shook because my whole stash was full. So I had like, Gold Aether tools and like mags of holding all in my inventory. So I was I was about to be pissed if I lost all that. Both guns are pap one. All right, all right, Golden. We'll clean this though. Don't you even worry about it. You got the flamethrower on that. We can still make it work. Do the M80 first, Temporal. Because the RPD, I think, is better. So save the better gun for last. So far, this FR Advancer, I'm not sure what to think. I literally only killed three zombies with it, but I thought it was going to be a little bit faster. That's not terrible. I also have some pretty weird attachments on it. I kind of just grabbed this blueprint because it looked cool. But let's try the underbarrel on it. It has two shots. And it didn't even kill. It hit markered. Oh, wait. I don't have a self-revive. I mean, I knew that going in, but I forgot until now. Can I uh, get off of 
this? Why does this thing have no ammo now? Okay, there we go. They are coming after you, Golden. Oh shit. Episode 3 of Pimp My Gun When? I think I got all- Technically there's three episodes. I don't know if I called it that in the first Maggle Holden episode, but I'm working on some. Don't you worry. We're also testing out some guns to see what we can use in Pimp My Gun too. Oh, we're doing open lobbies. Triano. So we're playing with viewers. I've had a lot of people recommend the FR Advancer to me, and this don't seem too impressive. I want to join the group? Fuck it. Come on in. I believe the game's four months old already. I know, dude. Time flies. Um, actually, it's the M82. Yeah, but I got what he's saying. I understood. Can I please revive? Look at this mangler. Just running in place. Self revive? Nope. Cool. I need to go buy one. Uh oh, teammates down again. Throw a decoy in there. Frenzy to ring of fire. I always use ring of fire, honestly. Just know when it's about to run out and when you gotta reload. You guys can start up another contract. I'm just gonna buy a self revive. Yeah, Cold War is getting up there, too. Cold War is like four years old at this point. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure how much I'm liking this gun. The Ram 9 tax stance build? The flamethrower? Yeah, that's gotta be nasty. Because Ram 9's already good. And then you add the flamethrower to it. Plus a Maggle holding. Absolutely obliterate zombies. Oh, Cheesy with the five gifted. Thank you, Cheesy. Appreciate it, dude. Means a lot, man. Thank you for support. Dude's always going crazy in here with the gifteds. Mario for 2019's almost seven years old. That can't be true. If Cold War's only, like, four years old... Maybe close to five. Ain't no way Modern Warfare 2019 is seven years old. Do I wipe or let it crust? I let it crust. I don't know why, like, this building in particular, it always feels like I can't see anything in here. Especially once I start shooting. It's like it's so dark and then everything else is so bright. Like, even the muzzle flash is kind of crazy. Well, I think it's safe to say that whatever underbell attachment I have on this sucks. It is not good. I thought maybe the MW2 underbarrels might be decent since they buffed... The aftermarket part ones, but they are not. Oh, Cheesy gifted another one. Thank you, Cheesy. And, and Miss, Miss R, I'm always going to pronounce your name wrong. I, I hope you know this, and I hope you're not offended. Because I'm just stupid, but thank you for becoming a member as well. Appreciate you, man. And Cheesy gifted another one. Damn, Cheesy. Really appreciate you, man. It means a lot. What's the next multiplayer video going to be? You're not going to believe this, but I recorded a multiplayer video with um, the sword a while ago. Like, when it came out. And I got... It was my first weapon, I got priceless. 
I just have not gotten to like editing it yet because there's just been so much stuff for zombies that I wanted to do. But that always happens with me where I'm like, I want to do multiplayer and zombies at the same time. And then I'm like, well, I'm having a lot of fun with zombies. Okay, I'm going to stick with zombies. We tested snipers. I'm going to be testing this KV or uh, whatever the hell it's called. KV inhibitor, I think it is. I'm going to try that out. Is that another one from Cheesy? Or am I rereading that? Either way, appreciate you, Cheesy. And Hazel with the five. Thank you, Hazel. Mangler shoot when Brain... Brain Joe has rut... Brain grut... Okay. That actually almost should reset my brain. <laughs> I don't know what was happening there. I just started, like, hearing, like, Baby Gronk Livy done. Is this even, like, good? I think I took, like, probably the two worst weapons in here. At least I wasn't doing this for, like, a, a pimp my gun video. These guns need a rehaul, not mags a holding. That's crazy. This thing sucks. I'm actually gonna probably switch this out for any random gun. Any random gun could probably be better than that. Just close to unlocking Interstellar confirmed. I am on to Priceless now. And Priceless ain't hard to use, or to get, I don't think. So we are close to Interstellar, but I just... I haven't played a whole lot of multiplayer. And I do like this game's multiplayer too. It's just... Zombies been calling my name. And Cheesy with another five. Damn, Cheesy. Thank you, dude. Appreciate you. Fucking insane, man. You don't gotta be doing all this, but I appreciate you, man. It means a lot. What'd you get from Taco Bell nose hair? A uh, tray. Uh, we're doing viewer games right now. So if you want to get in, you got to join the group that I have pinned at the top of the chat. And it's first come first serve to who gets in. And we'll be going to the dark aether with each lobby, you know, depending on if we crash or not or whatever. But that's the plan. So I want to try to get some more mags of holding, test out a few weapons, and we'll see what's what. Okay, where's the contract at? None. And we are like 10 minutes into this game. Tier 3 has been crowded. You gotta basically camp the contracts if you want one. I like Subway cookies. I don't think I've had a Subway cookie in a long time, but I saw they had the footlong cookie. I feel like I'd, I'd fuck with it, but it wouldn't be the highest quality cookie. Oops. Let's see if an outlast spawns here. I'll just do some looting. How come I find like 80 large backpacks when I don't need them? That's like my third one I've, I've seen in a, a crate this game. But whenever I'm on an operator that I just died with or like crashed from, can't ever find one. They don't exist. Oh no, we lost a dude. Oh, and Hazel with a 10. The 10 months, dude. Appreciate you, Hazel. You were sticking around for so long. Means a lot. And I appreciate you again, Cheesy. You could not donate a, another membership ever again and i'd still be grateful nobody better take this this is me and golden yeah buddy oh and then cheesy did it again as soon as i was saying something appreciate you cheesy you're fucking crazy dude you're the best another five gifted from cheesy thank you man means the most. How you join the group? Uh, you're gonna have to go through the insane UI that this game has. Uh, it should be a, a little thing that kind of looks like headphones. You go to that, you go to groups, and then you enter what's pinned at the top of the dis uh, the chat. Appreciate you, Nightmare. How are you still on this? What? Hello? How are you floating there? 
Thoughts on the new Pokemon Legends game? I hope it's good, because I really like Legends Arceus. It was like a breath of fresh air, but now it's not... I, I feel like I liked it mainly because it was new. But the graphics were kind of bad on it outside of like the Pokemon models. And I felt like outside of just doing the story, there's not a whole lot to do. Not like there ever has been in Pokemon games, but they got to somehow expand on that. Make it better. And Hazel for like the 420. Appreciate you, Hazel. And you're 10 months and haven't got them digits. Hey, listen. Them digits is exclusive. I appreciate you, Hazel. Means a lot. Day's good, Jeffrey. Damn, Golden. Freaking out on the turret. I hate that there's like no contracts in tier 3. They just need to add more. There's been such a huge influx of players in tier 3 that people are like dog fighting. It's like Black Friday trying to get a contract. You just see like those like cartoon fights of just people tussling in a, a cloud of smoke trying to get an escort contract. We might as well go do tier 2 contracts. Where, where are you at, Golden Pack of Punch? You're at Pack 2? It, it is so much faster to do tier 3 contracts, though, for money. Did we lose a tire or something? Why can I not turn? Oh, we did. Okay, whatever. Car's fucked anyways. 69,420? We'll save up for those digits. Look, they're invaluable. They're priceless, one might say. Only the best of the best get them. Get any new Lego sets lately? Um, no. I still have a backlog from Christmas. I started building, um... Ahsoka Tano's. Ahsoka these nuts in your mouth. I just gotta get that out of the way before somebody tries to get me. Uh, but Ahsoka Tano's ship. I built like half of that so far. I just don't have like a whole lot of room to put them because I still have um like the Coruscant. Oh, uh, the Coruscant gunship that I really want to build. Just haven't. What the? How the fuck did the abomination get on the roof? Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked, but how? How did that happen? But I got the Coruscant gunship that I want to build. Just don't got room for it. But I haven't bought any new Lego in a bit. We went to. There was like a, a Lego convention type thing near, like in Michigan, not that long ago that me and Nay went to. And it was not the greatest. There's definitely better ones that we've been to that are like more for like, uh, what's it called? Like enthusiasts and not like more like, you know, catered towards like kids. But they had some like older minifigure series sets there. Like those blind bags. We got a few of those, but not really a set. Did I ever have bi Bionicles? I did. I did have a few. I have no idea where they are. Like, I, I'm pretty sure they're all taken apart, buried in bins. So I don't know where, like, the f uh, the full Bionicles are at, but I did have some. It launched off the Deadbolt turret? I wish I would have seen it. Because <laughs> I saw the Deadbolt turret was on, and I went to go run out there. Because I just found a circuit. And then I just look up and dude's on the roof. Okay, yeah, we might have to just do tier 2 contracts. This is crazy. I mean, there's a spore contract, but I bet by the time we get there, it's going to be gone. Yeah, I'm, I'm big in the Lego. Both Legos. The dude and the building blocks. The hell was that sound? I've never heard that sound in this game. It went, oh. Was that like somebody's tracers from their gun? It's my favorite Lego right now. Like set or theme? Because theme, it's always going to be Lego Star Wars. I don't think anything's going to beat that. But set? Probably the, the one I have behind me right now. Actually, I have two of my favorites behind me. I have the, the Rogue Shadow from the forest unleashed and i got like this knockoff lego i think it's called like 18k red or something pretty good quality knockoff but it's the breaking bad uh, rv holy shit can i jump please 
There we go. Will the XRK with Mago Holy become semi-auto? I'm pretty sure you still have to bolt it back. You just don't have to reload. I think all bolt weapons, you'll still have to bolt them. Like, oh shit. Server lagging. Server lagging. Let's not crash game. Let's not do that. Oh, I need to... I need a max win. I need to, um... Grab some decoys so I can stow them and I don't lose my, uh... My little decoy slot. And then I can grab those inhibitors. What's a set mean in LEGO terms? Like a... Like a specific, um, thing you build. Like what comes in the box. Like a, a LEGO set is like... I don't know. You, you, the boxes you see in the store, basically. Like one specific thing. Quickest way to beat Legion and Outbreak? Uh, you're asking the wrong dude. I don't think I've ever beat him fast in any, like, term. I think the Hower or the Gallo was really good at taking out his orbs. And then you'd want to, or like the Death Machine was. And you'd want to use the, I oh, know, use the Hower. It's been a minute. <laughs> um, Use the Death Machine. When you break his or or you get his chest to open up. And I think the Hower is good for opening up the chest. Something like that. It's it's actually been a minute, but every time I fought Legion, it took me at least two tries. And it always took me like 45 minutes minimum to get to him. To get all set up and to like actually get the fight started. Do I play CS2? I used to play a lot of CSGO back in the day. Like... 20, like 14 to 16 or to like 18 but I haven't really played CS2 like I popped on there to see like what my old skins looked like oh did I not I, did I just threw the decoys on the ground anyways after going all the way over to get them like a genius I used to play a lot of Counter-Strike and I've hopped on CS2 to see what my skins would look like on the new engine but I haven't played a game I don't think I just haven't been that into it, but sometimes I keep up with like the skin market and things like that. Cause I, I used to be like insanely into that. Oh, Wandon. With the Black Clan Plus Plus. Appreciate you, Wandon. Thank you, dude. Thanks for the support, man. Haven't been playing zombies in a bit. Is there a new meta? Uh, you're missing out right now. Cause the, the flamethrower underbarrel attachment is absolutely busted right now. The chainsaw is actually really good as well, but getting very overshadowed by the flamethrower the flamethrower you can hop into tier three no pack a punch no upgrades and kill zombies with it you can kill tier three zombies with an unpack a punched unupgraded gun oh you got the decoys for me what a lad appreciate you golden Well, Flamethrower's been good. Uh, they've added a few decent weapons. I'm pretty sure the SOA Subverter, or whatever the Battle Rifle's card called, is good, but I haven't used it yet. I've been saving that for a very special occasion that hopefully you guys will be able to see soon. Oh, Cheesy with the 20! Cheesy! You're going insane, man. I appreciate you. No one can stop me. I appreciate you, man. Truly. It means the most. Oh, yeah. Crossbow's been back on top with uh, the explosive bolts. Crossbow's nasty still. Um, The haymaker is actually good now. They made it so the slug rounds work. And I had some people saying that the Bryson... 800 or 860 or whatever is good now because the slugs work on it, but I tried it last night and it was terrible. It was not good at all. I, like, at least in tier 3. In tier 1, tier 2, it was one-shotting zombies. Make it a tier 3 and it, it it's a tier 1, tier 2 merchant. Oh, uh, Sins. Sins of War. You gotta go up to the little menu... Like the, I know the UI is crazy, but it looks like a like a pair of headphones. 
You click that, you go to groups, and you go to join group, and then you put in the code at the top of the chat. You can kill tier 3 zombies with unpacked guns anyway. Well, like, you can kill them very easily with a flamethrower. You can basically, like, one-tap them. You just, you know, light them up a little bit. Damn. Can I get something decent here? I guess I don't need three rifts. Or sigils, whatever the hell. Let me know when you're good to go in the Dark Aether, Golden. I don't want to take you in there before you got pack three. I guess I can probably just drop you some money. Here you go, Golden. Let's get you packed. Actually, I'm going to take a little bit of this back so I can buy perks. Just, uh, just a little bit. Uh oh, don't tell me you froze. Or you typing in chat. Where do you keep your Lego Daily Bugle? Yeah, I did have it in the background for a bit. It's still in boxes since when I moved. I don't have anywhere to put it right now. We're thinking about putting up a shelf to have it on. Like, we have, like, in our living room, we have, like, our TV mounted on the wall. And we have shelves, like, next to it. And we couldn't put on any of those because there's not enough space in between each shelf. So we want to put it back up and have it like on a wall with like a bunch of like Renee's like superhero stuff. Like she has like a bunch of like Marvel posters and like I don't know cool like arts to put by it that we we've been planning to do but just haven't gotten around to it. So I still have it and we just moved a bunch of the Lego stuff around like all the boxes. So I just saw like the whole uh, like Ziploc bag I have with every minifigure from that set and I forgot how many were in it. That's the main reason why I got it because not only is it like a cool building a cool set. But it has, like, every single, like, Spider-Man minifigure in there. Like, it's sweet. Like, I don't really even, like, watch a whole lot of Marvel stuff or, like, pay attention to it, but... I fuck with Spider-Man. Even though it's, like, technically Sony, but... Whatever. What's the likelihood of you becoming an admin on the Discord? I don't know, probably pretty high. I don't know. I I ain't too uh, active in that Discord. I'm very like antisocial outside of YouTube. There there'll be days where I have that that little burst, and I'm like, you know what? Let's go in there. But for the most part, I like to keep to myself. Nightmares, whatever you like the most, dude. Play what you like. If you're having fun doing something, then do it. That's all that matters. What's the best guns for MAGA holding so far? I, I've started a little bit of a series on testing different weapons with MAGA holding. So far, I really liked the... The Sidewinder was fun to use. It wasn't the greatest. Uh, the Lockwood 300, the double barrel shotgun, has been insane with Maggle holding. I think that's probably the best one I've found so far. But we're still searching. We're still looking. We're still trying things. Uh, let's do this Outlast contract, Golden. And then... I think you have w at least one gun, Pack 3. I don't know if we will need to, but with how terrible both the weapons I have right now are, I might need you to carry. But we can go ahead and write off the FR Advancer and the KV Inhibitor. KV Inhibitor's dog ass. Uh, we have no idea, G27, what uh, Golf War is going to be like. We won't know until we start seeing like footage of it, and even then, like we can get fooled by trailers, so we won't truly know until we can actually play the games ourselves, which from all the rumors and stuff, it looks like that for the beta for Golf War, we might actually be able to play zombies in it. A zombies beta would be sweet. What's up, No Spice? It's going good, dude. How you doing?
I want to grab another gun and pack a punch it, but I do not have the funds. Ain't no way I'm getting anything else at the pack three. Unless I find a pack three crystal. Get brain rotted disciple, get clapped on. I have not played Helldivers 2 yet, but I, I, all my friends like that I hang out with in Discord, or I'm just like editing or whatever, they've been playing it. I've debated, but I feel like by time, like I said this last time, but it, this is a rare occurrence where they actually play a game for more than one week. But I, I've debated getting it, but I feel like the second I get it is when they're going to stop. Wait, no ammo? How? So, are these zombies really not dropping any for me? Let me take a look at you, Golden. What you got? You got one pack three. I guess if we see another contract, we can do it. Nah. You know what? Let's fuck it. We ball is what I say. Let's just go to the Dark Aether. Let's see if we can get a, a quick mag of holding. Oh, you need to go to the shop first? I gotcha. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, actually. I should probably buy another self-revive or something. Maybe a cashmere? Appreciate you, Known. Thanks for watching, dude. Missing out on Helldivers. It does look kind of fun. But I don't know. It's hard to balance when, when I'm doing YouTube, like, so much. Uh-oh, the server's lagging dick in balls. Full scroat. But it's hard to balance, like, trying to play this as well as, like, edit videos, you know, work on videos, do all that. And have the time to play other games. That's, like, the one downside of this job. Until I, like, start, uh... You know, branching out and having, you know, people help out with, like, work. Like, in terms of, like, editing or making thumbnails or something. Refresh YouTube. Wait, did the stream go down? So, is it my internet or the server? Let's... I'm gonna... I'm gonna be hopeful and say it's the server. Oh, no, you're saying that to somebody that can't find the join button. I got you. Yeah, that's weird. Sometimes I see it disappear too. Should build a Lego Lego set with Lego unlocked. I would definitely do that. I would I would build laps around them though, let me tell you. I'm a master builder. Look at this lag, dude. Yeah, we need to hit the Dark Aether now before the server crashes. Holy shit, we're playing a PowerPoint. This fucking Doom Doom graphics. We gotta get into our own server for this Dark Aether right now. I got you, Hazel. I just had a, uh, like, streamer PTSD for a second there. Let's try the Core 45. I, I did try the Core 45. I thought it'd be way better, but it, it wasn't very good. Because I like the Core 45. I think it's, um, aftermarket parts, like, really cool. But I tried it with Mag of Holding, that, and the Tac, um, Evolver, and neither of them were good. Billion dollar company, two dollar servers. That's what it feels like. Flashbacks to the putt putt video. The putt putt video was fun. Putt putt saves the zoo. What else can he do? He can do anything. Cornelius. Where have you been, my son? Look, no offense to any Corneliuses out there. That's kind of a goofy-ass name, I'm not gonna lie. I'm going straight for this bounty contract. I take the same route every time the Dark Aether. I'm efficient with it. 
How's the FAMAS with the MAGA holding so far? Kind of butt cheek. I wouldn't say butt cheek. It's not like terrible. It's just mid. There's way better guns than this. I thought it'd be way better. Uh, nightmare. I I don't accept front requests. It, when we do open lobbies, you guys can join the group, the the COD group that we have. But I don't like uh, having my friend request or like my friends list all filled. It, it makes it harder to play with like uh, people like I know, and then I get like a lot of spam invites and messages that way too. Try the swarms? I might. Because I already kind of felt like the swarms had infinite ammo. But like, same... Oh, somebody was asking earlier, best weapons with Mago holding. The tier is really good. And just remind me of them because it's an akimbo weapon. But with the swarms, I already kind of felt like it had unlimited ammo. Because, holy shit, there's our bounty. This is going to be tough. Bro, Bro's tweaking. But it's like, I, I always just at least shoot one of the swarms or one of whatever weapon I'm using a Kimbo like half a mag faster than the other one so that way I can like always have one firing when I reload but I'm sure it'd still be good I want to try to find guns that like you wouldn't normally use but you would if you had Maggle holding like the, the Lockwood 300 what is this guy doing Oh, fuck me. I thought the decoy would go off faster. You know what? I'm bringing out the jug. I ain't dealing with them. Where is it? Did I get robbed? Where'd my jug go? I saw the parachute. Whatever. I did get robbed. So if you guys are in the dark aether, do not throw your jug right there. Bad spot. And his gift rift better not spawn all the way up here in the air. I'll be mad. Oh, thank God. Play Mortal Kombat. I will... Get my cheeks beat in in Mortal Kombat. I am not good at it. VR-11. I guess. I always, like, pick up these, like, VR-11s, but then I, I have more of those than anything. Oh, Maggle holding? You don't gotta give me that. I will take it, though. Here. There's your change. Appreciate the, the, the handout, Golden. Is it, like, in the air somewhere, though? Like, why did my jug just disappear? That's so lame. Where's the stadium? Are we near the stadium? Oh, it's right here. I'm hitting up the stadium real quick, Golden, so I can, uh, refill my ammo and decoys. Jug probably landed on something floated up there. That's what I was thinking, but I didn't see anything. Oh shit in my ass, dude. Alright, Golden. We gotta make like a tree and get out of here. Let's go find the next one. I'm going this way. Oh, you saw smoke in the air near the side of the cliff? I definitely saw the balloon like that or like the parachute on it like break off but i didn't see it like land on anything or it bounce off anything well it's not that big of a deal we still took out the disciple i just got scammed didn't want me inside of it hey that's fair though a quadruple, quadruple shotgun that's uh what we did with the lockwood the one that uh has the dual shot trigger that shoots like four shots whenever it's pack-a-punched. 
That was the weapon we used with Maga holding, and it was nasty. It was gross. That's what I'm saying, Soul. It has so much ammo with this. Same with, like, the TAC Evolver. You would think both these guns would be good with Maggle holding, but... It's a lot of bullets, not a lot of damage. That's the trade-off. Uh, no, I cannot trade, but you can join the group. How the hell does a zombie hit that high up the ladder? He's testing his vertical. Dude's got hops. There's like way more zombies in here than any other time. And they're kind of getting smoked right now. I'm actually landing headies. Give me ammo. Oh, monkey bomb? I'll just throw this right now. Fuck it, dude. Hellhounds at infinite range. Yeah, it's whenever like I go to mantle over something or climb a ladder, it feels like the Hellhound will always bite me on my way up. Fucking air bud. Oh, Maggo holding. Let's go. Wow, two pack a punch one crystals in the dark aether. How could they be so kind, so generous? Like that would fucking help. I don't want the VR11. Change my mind. I never even used my double XP, so it'll remind me next game. Because I do want to try to get a little bit closer to this uh, Warhammer event. Should I get that done? Favorite free agency move so far in the league? I think the Lions made a few, like, like not, like, like, flashy, insane moves. I mean, we did get DJ Reader, which was really good. Hopefully he's uh, recovered from his injury by the time the season starts, but... We definitely addressed a lot of points of need. I'm, I really want the Lions to pick up a guard. But, um, I don't know if I have a favorite free agency move so far. Like, out of, like, all teams, like, some superstar that, like, went somewhere. I did see that Aaron Donald retired today, which is crazy. I, I know he's been flirting with the idea of retiring for a while, but I don't know. Didn't think it would happen so soon. Besides that, unless I'm missing something huge. I guess, like, Kirk Cousins going to Atlanta is cool, because the Vikings are probably going to be bad, which is good for me. Unless the quarterback they draft turns out to be insane, but I don't know. Because they're still... They just traded up, or, like, made a trade to get, like, a higher pick in this draft. They have two first-round draft picks now. So if they miss on that, that'll be cool, because then they're out of the draft capital. And then they missed on a player, but I guess we'll see. Night Gorilla. Give me that. Okay, let's start with the casual here. Actually, I can start with Dark. Or my Aether Shroud. We'll get this one done. Lickety split. I hate it when it glitches out and you get no progress on it. Pisses me off. It starts the animation, but the progress does not move around the button. Hazel, you're you're a feet person. You fucking with feet? I feel like I'm being gaslit, Noah's hair. What, what was the promise I made two streams ago? What was it? I feel like I'm I'm starting to slightly remember that. Your, your gaslighting's working. The seeds have been planted. I have not tried the RPK with Magga holding yet, no. I've only tried like one LMG so far. Oh, there's another Magga holding. Let's go. And another Elder Sigil. Just in case we die with this one. Here's a decoy. Go for it, Golden. 
Go for gold. I got your back if you want to go for your reward. Damn, these zombies are fucking relentless. Oh, the feet finder account? I do remember now. What? Oh, that's bullshit. These zombies know it. Try the fully automatic deagles. Actually, you know what? We might try that next game. It could be fun. I don't think they're going to be very good, but we'll try it. And I don't need three of them. I appreciate the offer, though. Yeah, we're going Elder Sigil next game. The Chimera would benefit highly from Magza holding. Doesn't it already have, like, a decently large mag? Chimera wasn't bad when I used it. But it could be good. Signal 50 would go hard. That's what I was thinking with the KV inhibitor. This thing sucks. Unless you're hitting, like, only headshots. I feel like if this had, like, a better option for a scope, like, if I put Iron Sight on this or something, it'd be better. But I don't know. I don't feel that great. Like, earlier I was shooting at a Mangor in Tier 3, and it took me, like, 40 shots to kill it. I mean, I'm exaggerating, but it wasn't that far off. I'm getting the hell out of here. The Renetti dual wield with 50 round. I, I wouldn't throw the 50 round mags on it if I'm going to use Maga holding, but Renetti dual wield could be decent. Just a fire rate that is fast. Feels like the Chimera needs more ammo in its mag. I, I see where you're coming from. My fan a pair, a pair of these nuts in your mouth. Nice try, Willie. You almost had me for a second there. I was thinking too innocently. That was good. That was good. You almost got me. Almost caught me off balance. I'm scared to hit leave, so I don't want to pull Golden out while he's doing his thing. Okay, there we go. I do not want to pull party members out of the game. All right, first come, first serve. I need to make sure that I set this lobby back to only three people allowed. There we go. Okay, FR Advancer. Nice try, buddy. Kind of ass. Let's change this out for... Yeah, we'll do the Deegs. Should we do both pistols? And do both eagles? Do you think one or two full auto deagles or one or two just normal deagles? Like, what, what should our second gun be? Try the AMR with the conversion kit? Alright, that was the first thing I saw. Do you have any cool skins for it? Not really. We'll try it. I haven't used this since it came out. So I guess we'll see. We get some uh, good attachments on here. We're going to be using Maga Holding, so I don't want to throw a mag on there, but might put on the movement speed mag if there, if I can't put on a whole lot else. Mm, we can do that. Um, ammo don't do nothing. I guess that's all our attachments anyways. Normal deagles, both. Okay, I'm gonna do a poll. Can I do a poll? Full auto deagle. Deagle. Both of them? One. Um. So we'll do a quick poll. Whatever you guys say. If you guys pick both of them, that means akimbo. If you pick one of them, that's one of them. None of these increase the damage, though. Recoil control is probably pretty uh, important on this. For how fast it's going to be shooting. Because, like, with the F-Tac Siege, the reason why I, I kind of want to try just one of them, with the F-Tac Siege, it's so much better with one pistol than it is two.
Let's see if you have an under barrel. Let's go to recoil control. Why? I hate the MW2 attachments where it's like, oh yeah, you get 5% recoil control with minus 14 movement speed. Oh, you can't even see it. Look at that. They're doing too much. Both of them? Everyone's saying both of them. All right. We'll do both of them. Can't use an under barrel. Um, probably have to change this barrel out so I can use a muzzle or something. Damn, I can't really use like any attachments when it's akimbo. Okay. I'm in, in the pull. Vertical recoil control. Yeah, we probably want the best recoil control muzzle money can get. Yeah, we'll get that. This does raise our reserve ammo a little bit. But it's like... It's not like I'm really wasting an ammo spot. Or like an attachment slot. There isn't really anything else I can add. Ammo don't do nothing. And optics not going to do nothing akimbo. Oh, striker. Striker. Thank you for gifting one. Appreciate you, man. Gifted a membership. Oh, yeah. I still have another attachment slot. I guess we will put this on here anyways. Let's see. I guess, I don't know. Armor piercing? So I can penetrate zombies? Whatever, we'll try that. What's good, Striker? How's it going, dude? Appreciate ya. Joel Lake's wearing muzzles confirmed? Yeah, only when I'm doing pet play, though. Is this the best class we could have with this? Yeah. Probably not, but yeah. Let's throw a decoy on here. I'm gonna put this bag of holdings away. No, I don't want to destroy it. Are you kidding me? Oh. I'll take a flawless Ethereum crystal out. I do need to put one of these away, I think, but... What can I swap out for it? I only have one gold armor plate. I have all these legendary Aether tools. I guess I'll use one. We'll put it on the Deeks. Just for fun. Um... I got space for some perks. Actually, I kind of want to put our um, flawless Ethereum crystal away. Just so I can like hop in and use it pack three whenever, but... Whatever. I'll use Deadshot. And I will use... Quick Revive. And that's good. Who we got in here? We got Cheesy and Barry McCockner. Let's fucking go. The Squadron. I think that's good. I think we're alright. MR with the EMP is not so good. I did... I, I'm working on a video with the Holger with the new AMP, but somebody asked me to try out the AMR with Mago holding, and that was the first thing I saw, so we're trying it. So, I'm I'm with you. It's probably not going to be very good, but we're going to try it anyways. Revive Crash Cast thoughts? Perhaps. I don't know. I feel like all of us are already so busy as it is. That adding like a, a podcast into there. Probably wouldn't be the greatest, but I don't know. Maybe. Bury my cheese in her. I did use the Sidewinder in a video already. I'm trying to test weapons that I haven't used yet with Mango Holding. Yeah, the Discord's still in use. I'm just not very active in it. But it's still there. Sorry, I'm replying to a text. My bad, gang. All good, dude. It is a really good weapon to use with Mag Olden, so... It's fun. 
Riveter with Magus would be so stupid. We can try it next game. I do kind of want to try it because the Riveter... Like, some of these shotguns, like the Haymaker, got buffed with the Slug Rounds actually working with it. But I feel like with the Riveter, they didn't do it. Like, some shotguns, they have not touched, like, uh, the Slugs on it. They haven't, like, improved it. <laughs> a Zombies podcast would slap. I feel like, yeah, maybe if we did, like, once a month or something. But, like, once a week, I feel like would be a lot. But I feel like that's how you, like, grow a podcast would be able to do it once a week. But... I kind of got the feeling that a lot of us were getting burnt out. Just talking about like COD all the time. Like we're going from talking about it in our videos. We're like me and Lego. And we're like uploading every single day talking about COD. And then we get to the podcast and we're like, I don't know what the fuck we're going to talk about. I tried the Bryson 890 last night. And it was not very good with slugs. Hey, don't you worry about it, Nitro. I appreciate the thought. Are we getting into a game or not? I'm canceling it and restarting. I do want to try the Joker. I feel like, like we did with, um, spoiler alert, the bonus weapon in our last one was the RPG, but... I want to keep using the launchers as like the bonus weapons just to like goof around with it. Which do you personally prefer for golf or the concept BO3 has for zombies or the concept Cold War? I like BO3 and all, but I feel like Cold War was a lot more fun to hop on and play. Like BO3 still like if we're talking just pure mechanics it's it's fun and i like the content like jumping and sliding and jumping and sliding it's a very fun and like adhd way to move around the map but cold war it, i feel like has the best like mechanics where it's fun to like not only can you train around but then you can also like camp if you wanted to or you can while you're training or running somewhere if you see something you can vault over you can actually like vault over it and i've always wanted to do that in zombies because there's no reason why, like, a, a soldier that's, you know, fighting the undead army can't hop over a small fence. Made you thrush. <laughs> Come on, future. There might be a bit more of me and Lego coming. But I don't know if it'll be the podcast. Cat AMR, the ZRG, they're basically the same weapon. Honestly, the ZRG, because at least it was fun to use in multiplayer. Starting with a pistol and surviving up the rounds, of this, or starting with a weapon of your choice. I like having the choice between both of them. Like in Cold War. I could just start with a 1911 if I wanted to. Or I could just go in with whatever gun I wanted to use and not have to like hit the box or try to find a wall buy for it. I think it's fun to go in and experiment with weapons without having to go through like, oh, can I get enough points to hit the box enough times to get this weapon to try it? But I feel like it'd be cool if there was a mode to switch it in between the two because I do get the appeal of like, oh, I want to use this gun, but... It's, it's more difficult to get. Like, I want to use this wonder weapon, but it's more difficult to get. Um, We'll get the Deeks pack three right away. Get this pack two. Oh, cheesy. You don't got armor, bro. Do my eco off. We'll get you some. We'll get you some, buddy. Don't you worry. Oh, look. It's one-shotting zombies in tier one. Got no accuracy. Could I put a laser on this? I'm just now realizing. Or does this not have like a laser attachment slot? Did I miss that? I felt like a hipfire laser would probably do these good. Let's activate a mag holding. 210 bullets we can shoot with this. And 540 with this one. All good future. Imagine the MW3 zombies grind of MW2 never existed. 
I feel like it'd still be relatively the same, but I like having all the MW2 guns to try out, especially when like a lot of the MW2 guns had like different uh like pack a punch abilities, like the M16 being full auto or like the the shotgun shooting four shots instead of you know the the two from the dual shot trigger. Like it's cool. You got a 300 X fill streak. Let's go, Paul. I think my highest right now is 200. I wish there was like more incentive to raise it above a hundred because it doesn't matter if you're at like a hundred or if you're at a thousand, if you die or crash or whatever in the game, you're still going to go, your, your containment level is going back down to 75 regardless. Can you put a laser on it if you use the aftermarket optic? Oh, true. I didn't even think about that. Can you put aftermarket optics on MW2 guns though? Because you can't put aftermarket underbarrels. That don't work. I didn't even look. M16 with mags are holding. It could be fun. I do want to try that. And like, oh yeah, the, the P90 as well, having like an insanely large mag. That was sweet. Oh, you guys already started it. Oh shit. Oh, you got a Scorcher? Bro is out of there. Cheesy, we're, we're gonna get you some... some plates. We gotcha. Do you, do you need a large backpack too, Cheesy? Or you just don't have a... Uh, Three plate vest. Cause I'll let you know if I find one. Yeah, I I saw that, Paul. It's very it, it's nice that you don't lose your containment levels now. Cause I've basically been going to the dark aether after every game. Like my stash is full of just legendary aether tools and mags of holding. Cause I can just go to the dark aether after every game. Like you always get like a sigil, basically. Always get a, a return on investment. At least with the, the sigils. The Aether tools and the, the mag of holding are a bit more rare, but... It's been nice to go after every game. If It's it's like a tradition at this point for me. Oh, that is true. I, I didn't even think about that either. The pistols don't have that many optics to choose from, so... Even if they could maybe have the aftermarket one, or like, if MW2 weapons can have the aftermarket one, I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't there. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I lost it. I lost the plot. I think it makes speed cola useless. No, speed cola is not useless because you can still like, you can play it up faster. I mean, I guess if you have mag of holding in like golden armor then i guess it's kind of like you, you don't need it but i don't think it's useless because i think the box spins faster unless that's just cold war you can probably do a few things faster than just reload your weapon and put in armor but i agree mago holding does kind of uh lower speed cola's like value Oh, you guys want to go do some tier 3 contracts? We got, we got the pack punch for that. Actually, you know what, Cheesy? Guess what? There's about to be a tier 3 vest in this locker. Oh, large backpack. Got one of them. So you were saying yes to the large backpack, because if not, I got you right here. Oh, we can go fuck up some tier 3. Because I have, um, a deadbolt turret circuit. And if we get a bounty near one of those, they're sleep. And if not, then I feel like we might be able to take it out with just these eagles. Hopefully, knock on wood. They are legendary pack three, so we can at least do some damage to it. I think if we all just put our minds to it, we can take it out. Or the cargo works too. Cargo is very easy to do. The box spin part of Speed Cold doesn't exist in MW3? That's lame. 
At least, like, you're not usually getting hounded at the box in this game. I feel like every time I've hit the box, there's been, like, maybe one or two zombies around that you can just take out while it's spinning. You can put aftermarket parts on MW2 guns? Hmm. I don't even know what I put on here, though, besides, like, that optic. I don't think anything else would go on it. Still don't have the tier 3 crystal schematic? That one... No, not that one. The legendary Aether Tool schematic took me forever to get. I got that just before Season 2 reloaded. Is this any good against these tier 3 zombies? No, and I'm already out of ammo. Holy shit. We'll, we'll call that a fluke. I need to go uh, hit up this ammo cache. What's up, Richard? Thanks for watching, dude. First stream. Appreciate you stopping by. I feel like bearded. I feel like it's a placebo. Because whenever I used... Oh, shit. I got smacked up. But whenever I've used the incendiary rounds, they don't get any incendiary damage. Like, the only time you really get it is with napalm burst. All the ammo mods are placebo, at least for the assault rifles. I feel like the snipers it might do something, like explosive rounds might be good. But outside of that, from my testing, I didn't see anything. Oh, you got me a self-revive? You're you're a gentleman and a scholar. Give me that. And I guess I'll throw this on. Yeah. We can do a bounty hunt. Might get smacked around though, because these aren't even doing good against these zombies. I kind of had a feeling they wouldn't be that great, but... I guess, let me try like unloading on them. What? The disciple just sucked me off and disappeared. Ghosted me. Let's go temporal. Congrats on the gold pellington. What's up, Heisenberg? It's going good. How's the meth business? Dude, look how little damage it's doing to this abomination. These deagles suck. These are legendary pack three, and they are tickling them. Uh oh. We might have gone into tier three a little fast. I got a little too, uh, excited. I still didn't... Use my double XP. I should have. What's the worst weapon I've completed camos for? In this game or just in general? Because in general, ZRG, 100%. Or the Iron Hide. Alright, let's go uh, attempt to take out this Mega Abomination. Best weapon for Elder Sigil as a, for a solo player? Get a an AR like the BP-50 and throw the flamethrower attachment on it and just look up a map of where the ammo caches are in the, the sigil. Honestly, from when I run like solar or solar, solo Elder Sigil, I have two ARs with like good movement speed. I don't even like shoot them. And I have the flamethrower underbarrel attachment on both of them. That's how I get it done. Oh. Double points. Wait for it. Please don't kill me a bomb. Because that's what I'm going to do to you. There we go. No! These things are ass. Oh, I'm ass. Let me jump down! I am out of self-revives for anybody that uh, wants to pick me up. Uh, I play on PC Nightmare. I do have a PlayStation though. And I have played on there, but... I'm a PC gamer. Stay away from me, zombie. Oops. I did not want that. 
Dude, what what is with this game and trying to give me Shatter Blast? I don't want it. Give me something different. Yeah, it did surprise me when I saw how OP the flamethrower was. Because before when I tested it, it wasn't that great. Oh, Hazel with another five. Appreciate you, Hazel. I go off, we'll stay in chat. Only if we get 4k members on the Discord. That'd be crazy. Join the Discord, fellas. I appreciate you, Hazel. Very generous of you. Means a lot. Okay, this uh, gun, not built for tier 3 at all. Not good. Very bad, one might say. I do have enough for um, pack 3 though, so maybe I should get that on my AMR. I'm gonna go grab that while you guys start this bounty. Joker's quite literally the worst weapon to get all the camos on him for zombies. I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, it's fun. Like, it's goofy. And can be a bit annoying, but you really just have to like melee with it in tier one. I don't think I have done a video on the dual commas, but I'm kind of trying to look for like weapons that are good with uh, Maggle holding at the moment. I'm on it, Brando. These things just go through ammo so fast, and they take so many bullets to take anything down. There's nothing good about these deagles. Can you put the mags holding on a ray gun? No, it doesn't work on wonder weapons. Unfortunately. Would be cool. No reload ray gun would be sweet. Give me that. And let me just be a greedy little bastard real quick. I saw a chest in here. So let me take a quick peek on what's in here. There we go. That's what I needed. Cool. Alright, I'm coming to you guys. Nope. Glad I could help. My bad gamers. The baby swarm with 20 round mag. Super speed. That was like uh, the Fennec. The Fennec was really good, but had some nice speed. Could outrun Hellhounds when I used it. Oh shit, is this gun ass too? Did I bring in the two worst weapons? I got you though, Cheesy. Oh, you already got a three plate. Just for fun though. Does PhD help with the Mangler's Cannon? I don't think so. I think it's only... Fire and Explosions. And his is more of like a pulse. Let's see this Outlast. It's right here. I mean, we can do Bounty too. Yeah, I'm done with the Bounty. I just don't know if this uh, AMR9 is going to do a whole lot. The AUG with a single tab mod. You're just putting yourself in a corner with that, with Maggle holding. This don't seem, I mean, like awful, but it don't seem amazing. Kind of just mid. And I think it might be better than the FR Advancer that we were using though. Just might run out of ammo a bit faster. Renetti Carbine. I have not tried the Renetti Carbine yet, but I did try the Core 45 aftermarket part and it wasn't that great. Down bad, not legendary tool. True. I just don't have like, I guess I do have a few legendary Aether tools, but I want to save those for guns that are worthy. Because any gun with a legendary Aether tool is going to, or at least most guns with a legendary Aether tool is going to be pretty good. These Deagles are not. The Deagles are the exception. I do want to try the RGL, Paul. I, I will be trying that at some point. Fire! 
Dude, this thing sucks. This disciple's just eating. Taking all the damage in. Fuck him up. It sucks using any other weapon and just not having a flamethrower on it. The flamethrower's just so good. What is this? Deadwire? I need that. Specifically for you. Get a refund on those deagles, pay respects? You're so right, I will go do that. Sometimes I forget that's a thing. But you're so right, I'm gonna go get a fucking refund. Go complain to the manager. Yeah, these guns you gave me, they don't do damage. I'm about to get an uncommon Aether tool for them after all the shit I spent on them, watch. Tell Cheesy there's a mangler following him. Hey Cheesy, you got a mangler on you. I think he took him out. He's left the building. Okay, I'm gonna go get a refund. Underbarrel shotgun good? When I used it before, the underbarrel shotgun was better than all the other shotguns. Like, the actual shotguns. Besides the Lockwood 680. So it might be decent now. What about that, um, uh, man, I forgot. Come on. So unfortunate. I don't even want that rare Aether tool. Don't care. What a waste of money. These things are ass. Thought that was the Riveter with the stubby barrel. Kind of looks like it. Betting on blue tool. You did call it. Absolutely scammed. I got that GameStop refund for it. I put a legendary tool and a flawless crystal on it. Just for it to be ass. It probably does the same amount of damage, no pack. There's no scaling on that gun. Okay, which Bryson is the auto one? Because are you guys talking about like the non-auto Bryson? Like the one that's like more of a pump shot? Or are you talking about the auto Bryson? Because I'm pretty sure I used the auto Bryson last night and it was not good. Like I put slugs on it because people were telling me slugs work on it now. Worked like decent. Like it was one shot in tier one and two. Tier three, I had a better chance of like I don't know. Giving giving the zombies a disease that they would die from. Look at that. This gun's better with just Shatter Blast. I kind of want to use the Napalm Burst on something, but... Yeah, let's toss it on the AMR. I want to hit the box, get something different, see if we can't get a, a decent weapon. Because this is not what I would call a decent weapon. Crossbow doesn't have mags, is why? True. It would be sweet if it worked on the crossbow, though. Tell you what. Do I really need this? Where's the box? Why can't I see it? Am I blind? Don't answer that. Name it Jovid. Jovid 26. That's what people were calling it when it first started. I'm pretty sure there's usually a box spawn here, but I'm not seeing it. Oh my god. Thank you, Barry. I'm glad there's somebody with eyes on our team, because it's not me.
There's a 72 round mag you could have put on before using mags a holding. I, I didn't put it on there. Oh, you don't gotta give me this, dude. You can still use this, bro. That's all you. Take it back. I wanna test out some different guns. But the, the reason I didn't put the 72 round mag on the on the FTAC recon when I'm using it for the mag as a holding, because it's gonna have unlimited ammo anyways, and it didn't didn't add any um like ammo capacity to our weapon. All it did was like lower our movement speed. It didn't really give us any like benefit. MC mm, no. That seems lame. Give me something cool. Okay, Basilisk. No. I do want to try out the tier aftermarket part. Attack V? Fuck it. Couldn't it be worse than the Deagles. Alright, I'm down for some more contracts. Oh, they remake the World War II zombies maps? That would be cool. I still haven't played them, but from everything I've seen about World War II zombies, it, it was... I like the aesthetic of it. It's a better game, Modern for 2019 and Modern for 2, 2022. Um, I feel like Modern... Overall, I think I'd rather play Modern for 2019 again. But Modern for 2, 2022 had better maps. For the most part. Like the they in Modern for twenty nineteen it really had two maps for like the, the longest time. Or like one map, like Hackney Yard. And that was it. Every other map was just huge, took way too long to get into engagements, and had eighteen hundred doors. No way you killed it that fast. About to get dope tested. What's the least favorite Cold War video I've done? Like, least favorite to, like, film? Or, like, the one I'm, like, the least proud of? I don't know. There's a few multiplayer videos when I just first started doing commentary videos where I'm like, I could, I could be doing that better. But the most painful one was definitely, like, the ZRG and Outbreak. But I, I don't know. It's a fun concept for a video. I wasn't, like, too mad about it. It just took so long. Somebody's pleading for help. The Wonder Pets are on their way. Oh yeah, Mastery Grind was way easier, but I like the more difficult grind. Because that's what really got my start on YouTube, was making a guide about that grind. And it was my first Mastery camo that I got, like ever. Another bounty right over here. Let's go snag that. Not the ZRG. Why would you speak his name? It was awful. Because I got it fully leveled up and all the way to Dark Aether just in Outbreak. And it took me, I think, eight hours of game time. Oh yeah, definitely, Paul. I don't think anybody would argue with that. Long shots did kind of suck, but... Long shots didn't really feel like... Long shots were the hardest part about MW2. The long shots felt like nothing in Modern for 2019. Because at least you could stack them for a lot of challenges. Like, you get, like, your mounted kills done and long shots just sitting in shoot house down the middle. But having that as the only challenge for Platinum was really draining. Because it's different when you're getting other challenges done and working on long shots because you can get a few here and there and then maybe you might have to focus on them for, like, a game. But all of Hardcore in MW2 was just people going for long shots. That was the only reason people played it. Played the Hardcore for the most part. Like if you were just like a Hardcore player and you wanted to hop on and have some fun in Hardcore or fucking Tier 1, whatever they're calling it at the start there. You were not going to get people trying to play any sort of thing on the objective. Like there's already a problem in COD with people not playing objective. I'm guilty of it. But like... It just made the problem worse.
It did take eight hours of game time? Yeah, this sounds about right. Because I just remember sitting there all day doing it. All day. I put in a shift with the ZRG. No, I haven't been going for like the Ultra Mastery. I feel like that might be something that we just do like on stream. I don't know if I'll do like videos on it. Because there's not really, you don't really get a good reward for doing it. Like I don't really care about a calling card or like um, an emblem, you know? But if like I want to stream but don't really have like an objective, like if I'm not like testing guns or you know going on the dark aether like we're doing today, then I I might do masteries. I got you, Richard. Two steps ahead of you. I, we just did the F-Tac recon with uh, the Maggle holding not too long ago. We just made a video on it. He was getting eight up. I'm already going to be out of ammo. I just refilled it. It was AMR9, butt cheek. That'd be sweet if we found a gun that was good. Me too, future. I, I feel like I would I would have got the multi camo or multiplayer camo done so much. Like I would have had more incentive to go and do it. I would already have it done if they had like some ultra mastery for doing both masteries. Rusty ass. Weapon charm. That's what I'm talking about. Why have such terrible rewards for like such a time consuming challenge? Like if it was something like Obsidian. E even though I didn't like how Obsidian looked. I thought it was a very boring camo for the amount of work that you had to put in for each gun. But even if they just put Obsidian in this game, I'd probably grind it. I'd grind it on every gun. But instead they're like, you know what? Let's give them nothing for this work. I think that's better. Have I done the Ram 9? Well, like, gotten it, like, done in-game? Yeah, I got a Borealis, but... I have not tried it with the Mag of Holding. I know it would be good, because the gun's already good. I'm trying to think of guns that don't have a whole lot of ammo. I might try out the WSP-9 with its aftermarket part after this. Because if I remember, it did a good amount of damage, just it only had like 20 bolts in the mag or some crazy shit like that. I think that's the next gun we try. Chrome Tiger and Obsidian. That would be sweet. Even if they just, like, change the color of obsidian. Like, if they make it, like, emerald. Like, choose a different stone. It'd be so much better. Because, like, my big complaint about obsidian, my big criticism, was a lot of the time, on a lot of weapons, if they're already, like, default. Like, they, they just looked default with obsidian on it. Like, you'd have to look closely and be like, oh, is there a texture on that? Oh, my, wow, you have, what is it, like, 15 kills and, or, uh, like, 15 kills and 150 completed games with it? Wow, that's cool. Couldn't even tell. It's like the same thing with the weapon charm or the calling card, I guess. With that argument, you can see the calling card a bit better that you went for it. Like, someone's going to see it in multiplayer. With it being, like, next to your name and everything and calling cards popping up whenever you get a streak or whatever. But a charm no one's going to see, really. My money keeps dropping. How much do I actually have? Oh, 31,000. It says I have 7,000 down there. A lapis camo? Yes, dude. I'd fuck with that. Like, literally, pick a Pokemon game from the DS down and, and use that as a camo. Any one of those. A pearl, a diamond, a platinum. Oh, I guess platinum's already a thing. Um, I, But still. Emerald, ruby, sapphire. Let me fucking red, blue, yellow. One of them would be better. 
Not just default. Look at that. Insta killed it. Definitely was not Barry using the flamethrower. That was all this gun. Whatever the hell this is. You guys ready for the Dark Aether? Because I am now ready. I'm prepared. Slightly. I mean, I'll be there. Don't know how well I'm going to do. I got two pretty ass weapons. True. True future. The weekly, like, camos are way better than, like, what Obsidian was. Don't understand people saying they're shadow banned. I kind of don't either. Unless you're playing a lot of multiplayer and you're, like, actually, like, really good. Or, like, um, you're, like, a streamer or something and you just have, like, people mass report you just to, like, troll. But even then, I don't think I've ever been shadow banned. And I feel like a lot of people say they're shadow banned when they're just getting in lobbies where they're getting shit on. It's like the same people that say, like, oh, they're hacking whenever they die when it's just clearly somebody, like, better than them. I'm not gonna act like hacking is not a problem in this game, but... People love to to cry hacks. M4 is amazing with Maxwell holding. Well, it makes it crazy. Like, isn't the M4 kind of just mid? My neck hurt. I keep trying to crack it. Oh yeah, gold, silver, crystal. Completely fire. Forgot about those. Scarlet and violet would be cool too. It'd be solid ass camos. Get a Pokemon collab where they're just camos. You'd eat. All right, well, I hope we're all ready for this, because we're doing it anyways. And if you guys don't have any, like, specific schematics, Cheesy and Barry, let me know, because I'll, I'll grab them and just drop them on the ground. I do not have Bioluminescence yet. That's the one I'm furthest from. I think I'm, I'm way closer to Interstellar than Bioluminescent. But we're getting there. We're moving up. It's all good, Mercury, because the only guns I had Obsidian were a lot of the meta guns too, because just from using them. Like, I had my AK that I would use in, like, Hardcore Search, same with, like, the AX-50. And I think I had, like, my Growl Obsidian. Actually, I think that meta might have been gone by then. I don't know. But I, all the guns I had Obsidian were just guns I used a lot, just because that would happen. <sighs> you run, like, old Dark Aether anymore? I've run it a few times. The portal there is like invisible now, but you can still like activate it, but you get the same rewards from this one. Like I've gotten, I've gotten like golden armor plates from this and I've gotten like dog bones from this, but this Dark Aether is much easier to complete because there's no escort contract. If you want to join, uh, the group is pinned to the top of the chat. You just got to join that. And then after each game, we get a brand new lobby. So after we get out of the Dark Aether here, we're going to have a new lobby of people, a fresh set. And it's first come, first served to who gets in. Yeah, I got crossplay on. Always got crossplay on. Rap H would be pretty good. Is that the, the LMG? I feel like when they changed up a lot of the names, like they didn't decide to actually go out and get manufacturer names for the guns. I don't know what any gun is. The Rap H could be a fucking like marksman battle rifle for all I know. It probably is. They got like different versions for each one. Like there's 18 different Lockmans and six different MCWs. Yeah, I will get the MW2 zombie mastery camos. I'm working towards them. Just very slowly. Am I going the wrong way? On the map, it... It shows the bounty all the way over there, but it's right here. It freaks me out. But I'm with you, Mercury. I don't know if I just said this. I don't know if I have amnesia. But fuck the escort. I've only been able to do the escort with either a full team, a full inventory of cashmeres, or the VR-11. And even then, I fucked up a few times. Here, I'm dropping another Maggle holding schematic. Let me get this. I will switch that out. 
And I'm gonna grab another Elder Sigil so we can come back with a new group. Let me throw this ammo mod on here. Let me use the fucking reward with, please. There we go. I have not done the M16 with Maggle holding, but I think it would be fun. I will definitely try it. I don't know about today, because I already know it's a good weapon, so I might just do it for a video. I want to try, like, uh, the WSP9, or whatever the fuck. The one with the Atomark for Heart. That's what we're going to try next. Anyway, you think they can improve Cold War Outbreak? Yeah, just make it into this mode. Literally, combine Outbreak with this, and you got something. Because I think this is infinitely more replayable than Outbreak. Because unless you're doing the Easter Eggs or... Level 1 weapons, Outbreak's kind of boring as hell. Damn, bitch. Get out of my face, zombie. I did do the tier. I haven't done the aftermarket part for the tier, and I do want to try that. But I did do the, the Kimbo tiers with Snake Shot in the same video as the, the f Tech Recon. And both of them are good. Yeah, dual, dual swarms will be good. If the gun's already good, it's probably going to be good with Nagel holding. It, it just gets even better. Oh yeah, fix the crashes. That would be a good one. That would be a great way to improve this mode. Damn, this gun fucking sucks. I actually think that this, what we got out of the box, is better. Dude, he's eating these shots. What the fuck? That's what I was thinking, Momo. That's what I'm gonna try next game. The WSP 9. Or one of the WSPs that has the aftermarket part. That's not the Akimbo one. Not the swarms. It makes the fire rate slower because you have two of them. So technically it's like kind of the same speed. But if it had the same exact fire rate on both, then it would just be, like, extremely busted. I don't want any of this, to be honest. But I'm gonna drop that again, just in case somebody need it. I don't want blood burner keys. I will take literally anything else. I will take death perception over it. Blood burner? My least favorite vehicle. I think it looks really cool. Design-wise, very cool. And it's sick that you can drive on water with it. But handling on it feels so weird all the time. Not a fan. What is the Rival 9's aftermarket part? I forget what it, what it was. Oh shit, you already started it. You know what? I'll get a head start. I'll go to this one. Try the M4. Maybe next game I'll use M4 and the uh, WSP9. Cleaned it. Easy. Okay. Slightly difficult. Is that... You just hit me with a, a healing aura? Oh, it was the dog. Bitch, I'm a dog. How's it going over here, Cheesy? We got your back if you want to go for it. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to stick it. Oh, the headhunter. Yeah, actually, with the insane headshot damage that it does, you might be able to just eliminate anything. I've got, I got three mags of holding schematics this game. I also didn't pop my double XP again. I wonder if it, I can just do it at the end of the game and still get the the XP at the end. Like all the bonus XP. You know, I might as well fucking do it. Want a quick 30 minute? I guess I can drop a self revive for whatever else is in there. I don't need all these. I can't bring them with me. Oh shit. I'll carry that. 
mind if I do. Might as well equip those. Bring this with me so I can just bring it into the next game. Same with this. We're good to go. Alright, fellas. We clean that. We got all three of the contracts done in less than less than half the time. Seven, six minutes? And the time it takes to listen to Rap God, we clear the Elder Sigil. Would have liked to get a legendary Aether Tool or like um, a Flawless Crystal, but that's fine. Should do Warzone? I, I would like to play Warzone. Because we played a little bit of it when... Uh, like, uh, I was playing some ranked with LEGO, like, a month ago. We were playing, like, multiplayer ranked, and then we lost somebody. So we we had three people, and we're like, you know what, let's hop on uh, ranked Resurgence, and that was fun. Alright, Barry and Cheesy, it's been an honor. I'm out of here. Oh, you, I think he dropped something for me right as I got out. Sorry about that, Barry. Is there a new duplication glitch? Not that I know of. I haven't done like any glitches in this game. Yeah, this they should have this and round based in, in Golf 4. This as a supplement to round based, not as uh not as the new zombies mode. Damn, Squirtle got in here fast. I guess, okay. Normally what we do when we're doing these open lobbies is I don't allow somebody to play multiple times and Mazario literally crashed within two seconds of us playing, so I'll allow it. Where is this bad boy? Yeah, it's the WSP9 with the AMP because what's the mag on this? Yeah, 22 rounds on it. I think this actually might be very, very good. Cheesy with the five gifted. Thank you, Cheesy. Another five gifted. Appreciate you, dude. You're that guy. You're that guy, pal. Trust me. Appreciate you, Cheesy. Dark Aether looks like Al Mazra. You're gonna shit your pants when I tell you it is. They literally just uh, reskinned it. So Rival 9, WSP 9? This could be like the damaged duo. We're not going to use any of these because... Oh, I guess our reserve kind of goes up with the 50 round drum. What's a default at? Only by 10 bullets for that huge movement speed decrease. Same with like ADS speed and... Yeah. Not worth. Bruh. Have I tried the lock with 680? Of course. Not with the MAGA holding, but... So we're going to need sprint of fire speed on this. We're going to be going for headshots, so I don't really need to build it for hip fire, which is what I build like m most of my weapons for. Um, kind of want to throw the Jack BFB on here. Just so to make sure my recoil is like hitting where I need to hit. I'm hitting all the good spots. Maybe not though. I don't know. We'll see. Do Red Worm this match? No, I'm going to keep doing the, the Elder Sigil because there might be people that join that still need schematics. And uh, I can get more mags of holding that I can hang on to. Is my stash still full? Shit. Okay, well, I have an Elder Sigil here that I know I could... I, could, I don't have to bring one out with me next game. I need an Aether tool, so I can just destroy this. I don't care about a normal sigil. So I'll bring in the legendary Aether tool so I can put away this mag of holding. I need a pack crystal, so I will grab... I guess we'll go in with uh, two pack two crystals. 
VR11 case. I'm sorry, VR11. Getting destroyed. Destroy, build, destroy. Use the M16. I already know it's going to be decent, so I want to try to try out some weapons that we're kind of unsure of. Theoretically, you could do Red Worm and Elder. That is true. But I'm more focused on the, the, the Elder Sigil right now. So this is good, right? I don't need anything new. I think we're all right. Did I miss anything? What'd you, what'd you miss, Mercury? Oh, the lobby? All right, well, let's get the plane. We'll try these two guns out. Use RPG. I've already tried out the RPG. RPG is just kind of weak. It's fun to use, but you get what, like 13 rockets? But you can, it, it's still at epic rarity pack three, still takes two rockets to kill zombies in tier three, which sucks. Maggle holding does not work on wonder weapons, no. Up tempo yeah the old portal is invisible i think what happened is they went to like copy and paste the portal over to the other area because if you look at the new portal it kind of like flickers in and out with the lighting like there's another one inside of it is my theory but you can still go into the new one or the old one like it's still there Did I miss any NFL news while we've been streaming? Anybody sign anywhere? Any trades happen? Don't think so. Oh, Van Jefferson signed with the Steelers. That was four hours ago. See you, Cheesy. Appreciate you, dude. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for playing, man. And thanks for the 875 gifted. Appreciate you, Cheesy. means the most man you press craft and back at the same moment you won't get a cooldown until you close the app really so i could just craft like a bunch of the same thing that'd be sweet i don't think the seahawks have signed anybody today not that i remember but aaron donald did retire so your division got a little easier uh, i don't know sins We'll, we'll see how I'm feeling after this game, how many more games we'll play. Okay, so I'm, I'm feeling like I want to get this to Legendary and try this out. Because this is the weapon I feel like is going to do the best. Alright, let's roll. What are we heading to this Pack-A-Punch for? You want to punch it to, get, to keep your camo? Get another tornado dark aether portal. Honestly, I'm fine with more dark aethers. I don't, I'd be fine with it. What happens when someone sends you euros slash pounds? I think it it just converts to USD. But it'll just show up in whatever currency they paid with. Whoa, this is broken! I have played DMZ before. And I liked it, but there just wasn't anything to do, so I like this way better. Oh, see you know, sir. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Did you want to be revived, or are you doing the tombstone thing? Can't form a sentence to save my life. You and me both, cheesy. I'm right there with you. Lost, lost horse cock lock. I did see that. Jimmy G signed with the Rams. Honestly, a decent backup. He's not like insanely good, especially now that he's getting older, but that's a good backup to have. DMZ kind of fell off, definitely. 
Because I didn't really care about doing any of the, like, challenges to get, like, I don't know, like, a, a new space in the stash or whatever. Like, I didn't care. So I just I didn't really feel like there was much to do in DMZ. What's up, Matt? Should I just added zombies to Fortune's Keep? I know, dude. A second map would have been the greatest. Vanderash and Gallop got released. I think Vanderash is thinking about retiring. I think that's why he got released. I mean, he's had too many like neck or head injuries. Unless I'm remembering wrong. I have a really good feeling about this WSP9. Seems he was good for leveling guns. Yeah, there's always like some sort of weird leveling method that always works pretty good. <laughs> nice try, man. That's a good one, though. I appreciate the effort. Fucking choke on, choke on these nuts. Choke on this dick. I appreciate you guys trying new ones. And not be like, oh, have you heard of Bofa before? Like, come on. That one's kind of funny just to bring up, just to be dumb. Like, I'll, I'll hit my friends with that. I'll be like, oh, hey, I was meaning to ask you. Have you uh, heard of Bofa? Just because they think I'm going to ask something real. And then like, oh, fuck you. What the dog doing? Oh, hell yeah, Levi. Appreciate you. Good games, dude. Like I agree, DMZ did have a lot of promise. And I think, M like, Modern Warfare Zombie still has a lot of promise. And it's still, I mean, despite, like, not as much content as we thought we were going to get with it, Season 2 Reloaded's been a lot of fun. Let's go get that bounty contract. That round 40 easter egg that we talking about. Certified Schmeet moment. I always forget we have emotes on YouTube. There's like no emote culture on YouTube. You'll give me one day. Hey, I, I hope you do, Matt. I'll be very proud. But I will deny it. I'll act like it didn't happen. But deep down, I'll be proud. <laughs> Took the money right out from under him. Hold on, let me let me get a taste of this bounty. Wait for me. People saying Rebirth come out in Season 3, even though it makes no sense. They had it right before. They had it right after they added Fortunes. I think it still makes sense to try to, like, build up more hype for the game. Like, try to, you know, get some player retention. I don't feel like it's that out of character. I still feel like it's a possibility. Uh, like one more or two more contracts and we're probably good to go to tier 3. I want to run through here though. The next Dark Aether is a Noct. That'd be hilarious. Noct would be in like every Zombies game. Besides Vanguard in like the non trayer games. That'd be so fucking funny. Sucks team Watt. Oh, are you talking about um, Derek Watt? The fullback? Or are you talking about JJ? Because that was a little bit ago. Oh, Bubba, it's uh. It's first come, first served to who gets in. So you just gotta join the COD group that's pinned at the top of the chat. That would be sweet. 
if if Re rebirth island was all tier three and you spawn right in in tier three like instead of it just being dark aether like you can just pick like hard mode hop on there hey leave some bounty for me i want to i want to have adam Oh, Knack with the two. Thank you, Knack. Appreciate you. Am I ever going to play Cold War again? Yeah, but not as often as I was. I'm going to play it again for 420 for our how high of a round can we get. Unless something comes up or it ends up being on like an update day, we'll have to like move it to a different day. But I will stream it for that. But I'm not going to go through and do Dark Aether for a fourth time. Just unnecessary. And I've already, like, done round 100 on every map. I've done every Easter egg multiple times. Very much more to do. Okay, maybe one more bounty and then we're good. I just need to get one of these guns pack three. I agree, Willie. The gestures and sprays definitely need to come back. It was always so fun in like the gulag waiting for waiting for your 1v1 just to like spray somebody as many times as you can or like constantly hitting the gestures. I don't know why they ever got rid of those. Because it's such an easy thing they can just add to whatever bundle. They already do that with like emblems and shit. Why not add something like people actually want to use? My highest round in Cold War. I made it to round 200 and something. Like very low 200s. Like 200 and like 2 or something. Smoke a blunt every 20 rounds. Throw up, puke, and get scared. Oh, were you guys fighting over the bounty? Rip. I guess we can do this outlast. That'll be easy. So I do not got the facilities for tier 3 yet. Cracking open a cold one while driving? You're crazy. I hope that's a joke. Nobody uses the ping wheel anyways. Yeah, true. Like, I'm not gonna be like, enemy there with the ping. Like, I don't know. You kind of just like double tap your ping where somebody is. That's the only like ping they use or like a point on direction. You're not going to hit like moving this way, taking cover here. Like they tried with it. But I'd rather just hit like funny gestures. Has the food part of the stream passed already? Surprisingly, no. We have not gone on uh, a rant about food or fast food yet. I did see some shit though with uh, like Little Caesars. Got their new like Caesars puffs or whatever, crazy puffs, whatever the, f whatever the fuck. They're like a, a pizza pot pie almost. And I watched Review Bro make a video on it. And he said they're all right. He said they're a seven out of 10. That's pretty decent. They look kind of kind of tasty. Bring the nut kick execution back. I feel like they have to have one in every game. I can't wait for the, like the King Kong one. You just fucking toss them. Pinging an AR AMR nine. I am not touching that. Hell no. Hell no. Why was there glowing purple zombie? I didn't even see that. What are you talking about? A disciple? Culver sucks. Culver's ain't bad. You're just hating. Yesterday was pie day. It was probably a good day to order some pizzas. Sorry, pizza places. It's like, oh, we're quirky. Come get a, a $3.14 pie. Which is a very good deal, but. Mm. 
Throw Brain Rot on here instead. Yeah, this is WSP9 with conversion kit. So far, I mean, we're only in tier 2, so it's doing pretty good damage-wise, but we're about to make our way to tier 3. I got the funds now. It had purple markings and was not a disciple. That must have been um, Greg the Zombie. Already too far away from that ether portal. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run. Stop lasering me. There you go. Hey, good night, Sky. I wish I could just have a Scorcher as a backpack and not, like, use a weapon slot on it. Because it's so convenient for moving around. Yeah, it's Ronald Reagan. Wow, somebody already grabbed the loose change. What an animal. Live near the original Culver's. The original one sucks. All the rest are better. I don't know. I fuck with it. I'll get. I, I'm not even like a big burger person. I'll get a chicken sandwich at Culver's, but I like it. Oh, the Apothecan. Add that in here. That'd be crazy. Damn, brain rotted him. Um, any bounties? Yeah, actually. Let's grab that. Let's go test this bad boy out against a real zombie. Toxic growth would be fun. I think it would not work very well in this game because there's not like a whole lot of areas where like you can kind of just funnel zombies to it. But it would still be fun to mess around with. I'd always be down for a new, like, field upgrade in this game, but I don't think we're getting one. I don't have to think about this gun yet. I feel like it should be better. Oh, nice. You actually got it. Let's go. The vultures didn't get to it. Oh, my ride's here. Culver's fish sandwich goaded. I don't think I've ever had their fish sandwich, but I know a lot of people hate on the filet of fish. Filet of fish is actually kind of nice. I'm not going to like go and go out and get it, but every once in a while I'd have one. It's not bad. Every time I Aether Shroud, they just always turn around for me. Stay facing me. Let me shoot that, that face of yours. Uh oh, no ammo. We got these though. Okay, might as well shoot him with this since it's insta-kill anyways. These zombies don't want to drop any ammo. Oh, the purple glowing zombie you saw was somebody's tracers. I just saw it on the... The Abomination. Yeah, I'm gonna grab ammo. Nice try, Willy. Literally got D's in the name. Who do you think you're fooling with that? Leo fish is trash. A flounder fish sandwich from Popeyes is the way to go. Probably, yeah. But if I'm going to Popeyes, I'm not getting fish.
Give me dead shot. Maybe that's why I'm not feeling the the power of this gun yet. Cause I felt like up close it was dealing some good damage. But from the distance I was fighting at it was not. I might as well just hang on to this jug and I got I got nothing else in my inventory right now. What's up, Jaden? They bred the fish like the chicken. That could be fire, actually. But when I'm going to Popeyes, I'm getting a chicken sandwich. I'm not going to be like, let me get a fish sandwich. Fuck no. Unless I'm on, on some sort of, like... Was it pescatarian people that eat f only fish? That'd be the only way. Or if like someone's like, oh, I just, I got back from Popeye's and I accidentally ordered an extra fish sandwich. Do you want it? I'd eat it. So lock was still good? The 680? I mean, it's good, but it's not as good as it used to. Like they nerfed it a little bit, so it's not crazy anymore, but it's still usable. Uh, it's first come first serve to who gets in the sock puppet. Uh, if there's no bounty, we can just do a spore contract. I'm fine with that. Get some, get our money up, not our funny up. It's probably just optimal to have it for Lent. I don't, I don't see a lot of people going to Popeyes just for that sandwich outside of Lent. That's mainly when I would get like a. A fish filet. So my dad would do lunch, so I'd, I'd fuck around and do it with them. A golden gas mask? That would be sweet. That'd be a good idea for an acquisition. Damn, you grab all of them? I don't think I've had Dave's either. I would like to try like any chicken place. I'm a whore when it comes to chicken sandwiches. Uh, only you can only have a max lobby of three people sock so unfortunately not but whenever we're out of this game if we end up playing another one i think this actually might be my last game so i can try to go get some crud done as the kids say nobody says that oh shit look at you already starting out the next contract Golden hazmat suit for the Aether Storm. I feel like they wouldn't add that in because if you can just survive in the storm, then the game never ends. And then they don't want that. They want to be able to restart the servers and, you know, get a new lo lobby of people in. That ain't bad. Broke his face pretty fast. I'll fight this guy while you're delivering that. That cargo. I'm here. Just go, go, go. Go, go, go. Now oh, fuck this helicopter up. I wish you could put MAGA holding on this LTV. So that machine gun actually did something. Besides overheat. Yeah, that's why I fought helicopter. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, two pack two crystals. Not terrible loot. I got your bruv.
Wait, that's so weird. Me standing by you when you use your frenzy guard like gave me frenzy guard. At least the effect over me. I've never seen that before. Fire's like the man of war. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're shooting me at the VR11. Okay, never mind. I take it all back. I'm not too familiar with the man of war. But it does have like kind of an odd firing pattern. Damn, dude. I was hoping there'd be a legendary aether tool in there. There's about to be one right here. Nope. Just need a little bit more money and we can try out the headhunter too. We still only have this pack too. Look at 420 bolts though. Weed. Elemental pop is a curse. It always goes off when you don't need it to. roll up on this mimic we're gonna get this mimic back for killing tupac that's why nobody ever found who did it he transformed into an aether chest right after what the fuck how did i dive out the car like that oh you're gonna boost me going in hell yeah I honestly thought this was stronger last time I used it. Maybe it's just because we're going against, like, uh, bounties with three people. Like, I feel like if I was fighting stuff solo, it has less health. Like, it doesn't scale. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's why I'm not too impressed with uh, these guns. Let's go get this packed. They add, add the flamethrower as a kill streak in season three. That'd be sweet. Being able to equip the, the flamethrower and zombies on top of just having the underbarrel attachment would be awesome. I, they're not adding in any more wonder weapons to this zombies. I think they already confirmed they're not adding in any more new enemies or new wonder weapons. It's staying how it is. No, because see the, the police were looking for like a person. And then turns out there's a chest right there. They're not looking for a chest. They're like, oh my god, who killed Tupac? And then there's just a chest sitting there, and they're like, it couldn't have been that. Let me solo this guy real quick. The damage is a bit better. I feel like now that people are in the area... Maybe his health went up. I don't really know how the health scaling works in teams. I know as I'm out of ammo. Still gonna kill him. Don't care if it's only pack two. You are not making it out of here alive. Night night. Die. Thank you. I have no ammo on both my guns. That's that's how many shots it took. That's crazy. We should probably go help with this outlast. Sorry, who's holding it down over here? Tupac did not clutch his gulag. Well, he did come back as a hologram. So he got something. What's up, crazy? Ah. Oh. Look at that. We put in all the work on that outlast.
Oh shit. After breaking that heavy zombie's helmet, do you see how much health went down so fast on it? I feel like this headhunter's got a better chance of being good than this WSP9. If I can aim with it, that is. I want to fight some shit with this. Yeah, fuck it. You can join. There's a window I can jump out of. Here we go. Yeah, do the bounty instead. We don't want that easy money. We want to work for it. What are you guys arguing about? Y'all getting a little an e scuffle? Uh, no, we're not really doing camo challenges. I'm just testing out guns with uh the maga holding crazy, seeing what guns are good with it. If we can find some gems. So far, with these guns, I don't know if we found anything good yet. Okay, but well this guy's getting fucking melted. He's got a firing squad. It's a little hard to tell what's good or not in a squad. But if it can kill zombies, that's alright. You know, we can get shit done. Good idea. I'm hitting this ammo cache. I wonder if our teammates would be prepared for the Elder Sigil. All the randoms that we got added in. What are y'all getting so hostile for? It's only game. Why you have to be mad? Yeah, cleans up these zombies pretty well. It's like a three shot burst kill on a fully armored. As long as I'm hitting the headshots. How about you, Disciple? How fast are you going down with this? Pretty fast. I gotcha. Where's the Mimic hiding? Why'd it pin there and not over here? What? I hate it when it does that. Why does it just randomly pin lightning? MW2 Basilisk is asking zo ass and zombies. With the shotgun rounds, it ain't too bad. It's basically like diet tier. He reset the OG button? He reset the he hell no. Really? What is it now? What's different? Whoa! It's fucking Mimic Central over here. Fucking 18 Mimics. 18 naked mimics in the showers at Urzikstan Ranch. Dude, honestly, I'm good for the Dark Aether. Let me let me offer this. Y'all wanna go? Let's see if the team's ready. Because if they're not, they gotta hop out the whip. You did it on accident? Oh really? Damn. That sucks. I'm sure you can go back to a video and like 
Unless he has to say it right into the button. But I'm sure he can go back into one of his videos and find a clean sample of it. That sucks. I'd be mad if I accidentally like overread it. That's iconic. Hell no. Hey, people be fucking with Diet Coke though, Liam. So that's not saying a whole lot. Because when I used the Basilisk, it wasn't that bad. It was like slightly worse than just here. I built them basically the same. Hell no. I got that stuck in my head again. Cheers, Dr. Pepper and the Basilisk is Pib Extra. That's a better comparison. Uh. Like, like Starry to Sprite. Frying these off brands. But honestly, I feel like if you... Like, I, I've seen people do all, like, the taste tests where, like, they put it in the box or whatever and they can't see, like, what the brand is. They can't tell the difference on a lot of them. I feel like I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. I use it single with no shotgun rounds? Yeah, that's that would be ass. I'm with you on that. Oh, this Mega Abomination is going to have so much health. I don't think I've done an Elder Sigil with this many people. He's going to be bulky. Oh. I tried Cream Soda Fago. Man, I'm still dreaming. They hate on me, but I don't know the reason. Now, unless you're trying to get me with like, oh, you cream, cream in your mouth. I fuck with Cream Soda. Cream Soda is good. Top tier soda. This mega bomb got nut all over him. It's weird, with this gun, you can't use any tacticals while you're shooting. Like, most guns that you double hand, you just take your hand off of it and throw it, but I had to stop shooting first. Same with, like, popping my Aether Shroud. I have to stop shooting to use it. This guy's just eating bullets. He's hungry for them. Oh, somebody called in their jug, too. Where's my rift? Where my hug at? Oh, yeah, I gotta remember. I don't need to bring out another Elder Sigil. I have one in my... In my... What is it fucking called? Stowed away. My stocking. I could take this, though. Alright, on to the next. I came. I saw... I came. I came. I came. Young Gravy got a, a fucking Dr. Pepper song. Dude's wave riding off six dogs. But a strawberry cream soda? Now you're talking. There gotta be gas. I have not used the new battle rifle yet. I've been saving it for a very special occasion that hopefully you guys will see soon. But I have heard it's very good.
Ice cold cloudy lemonade? What's the clouds in that lemonade? Are you talking about like pulpy? Why you not like cream soda? Cream soda is gas. Top tier soda. Oh, I'm with that. They definitely could put way more contracts on the Dark Aether. I feel like you don't even see most of the map. You can do more than three contracts. I guess with the 15 minutes, I don't know if you can do more than three. Like, realistically. On some runs, you might be able to if you're, like, lucky or you, like, you got it all down and you have, like, the right loadout for it. But... For normal Dark Aether, there should be five contracts. No. Yeah, Killa. Killa's got it. I'm I'm trying to do a camo race with Lego with uh, the battle rifle. But our schedules just haven't lined up. And we did record one with the new aftermarket part, but it was like four hours long, so I haven't gotten all the way through editing it yet. Clouds is crystal meth. <laughs> you know what? Some some nice ice cold lemonade with some meth in it probably does hit. You might be onto something. I got the VR11 schematic for somebody. Oh, I think everybody gets the same schematic for each one. I will be taking that. I'm just going to preemptively drop this. That way I can just grab something I really need. It's been good, Angel. It's been good. We've been chilling. But I don't know if we're doing it tonight, Killa. He did message me earlier and I asked what time. And I think he might have been sleeping or something. I would like to do it tonight. I'll get her done. I haven't heard back. Oh shit. You got him, Zaru. Knock it out. Clean. On to the next. All are doing good, crazy. Thanks for asking. We're all chilling. The cats are actually uh, about to be a year old. They have the same birthday as Renee. Uh, the little smellies are growing up. Oh, another one? Uh, I'll just grab another Elder Sigil. Just in case I ever decide to come back. Even though I already have an extra one. Just to be safe. You know, I told myself I wasn't going to do that. But we got some decent loot this time around. A lot of mags are holding. No! No fucking way we got a check for update on the last run. Are you kidding me? We've set up that whole character, our whole operator. Man, why is Battle.net not got to do this? That's fucking ridiculous, dude. It's not like I needed a whole lot more stuff, but I would have liked to get out of the game with the, the mag of holdings I was I had. It would have been nice to have a few extra. Shit, dude. That sucks. Well, hold on. Maybe we'll get lucky. Let me uh, close out of the game and see if uh, some of our stuff saved. I, I doubt it. But we just finished it. Like, we had everything done. We were golden. All we had to do was exfil, and that would have been it. 
they just can't allow me to get through a whole stream without crashing. That's crazy, dude. I can't believe this. Then reopen it. Yeah, at every patch notes it says like fixed, fixed for update or fixed uh, server stability. But I think this is a battle.net thing because the other day when we were uh, playing with like Lego and Craig. We both crashed because Battle.net had an issue. Is MW3 worth buying? I mean, I'm having a lot of fun playing it. The multiplayer is really good. Zombies is way better than I expected and is a lot of fun. There is some crashing though, like we just witnessed, where I'm probably going to lose everything there. Yeah. All my shit is gone. So now I have one operator with a large backpack, and that's it. Damn. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna end it there, though. I'm gonna eat some food, and uh, I think I uh, might have a little a little date with Lego, so. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for chilling with me. And how many likes we got on the stream? What's the final count at? Let's see. Gotta refresh it. 139 likes. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for all the, the gifteds, the, the super chats, the donations, and just coming and hanging out with me on this uh, Friday night. Uh, the the girthy, girthy Cock Fridays, or whatever they call it. So yeah, I'm done. I'm out of here. I'll see y'all later. Let's go date. What's up, Lego?